What is happening, everybody? It's your boy back with another reaction video. And we'll be reacting to Honest Trailers Venom. Rated H for Honest. <laughs> I'm not even going to say anything about the movie yet. I'm going to save my comments until after I watch what they have to say. I know they're going to be. I know Venom was very divisive. But it made a lot of money. A lot of people did like it. So I <laughs> have to see uh, the people over at Honest Trailers liked it enough to give it a, a little, you know, not, not to be too harsh on it, but <laughs> I somehow doubt it. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into this. All right, here we go. Eyes long. Spanglies. <laughs> From the studio that Marvelettes play with their toys comes the Spider-Man villain everyone wanted to see on screen until they did. Hey, Parker. Oh, God. But this time, they can't even afford <laughs> to put Spider-Man in it. Oh, man. They can't Venom. afford. I'm sure they can put Spider-Man in it. Get ready for to. a gnarly, sick, Whoa. tight movie you'll love. They can as afford long it. as you're the kind of person who says gnarly, sick, and tight as the genre runs out of Silver Age heroes to adapt and enters the extreme 90s era of leather jackets and attitude for a film that would have been so much better if it were rated R. Uh, that's the baby. almost a billion dollars. So, sh what do we know? Witness Tom Hardy doing the same time just because it made money don't be as good. As he plays the investigative reporter like a crackhead squirrel. It's funny because most people liked well, that I've read that I talked to. New York accent? They actually like it. Say so he say his performance saves me. His ever changing man bracelets. And I noticed so that too. weird little noises. You'll wonder if they've been covering his mouth for a reason. Do you feel in Watch everything change when he's infected by an evil splooge from outer space who goes by Venom, a member of a parasitic race that's gonna conquer Earth unless humanity can somehow get its hands on a halfway decent sound system. <laughs> Together, they'll chomp their way through good and bad guys uh. alike, prompting audiences everywhere to wonder, does Eddie Brock know what human flesh tastes like? Is he technically a cannibal? When Venom bites off a head, does Eddie have to crap out the skull later? Were these all Dom's favorite parts that got cut out? Enjoy a film of charm and action. Then stop enjoying it while they bore you to death with science talk. We're collecting this data as quickly well, as possible. They, they gotta have some, got like, containment. Lots story in lots it. Lots of science talk. You discovered I actually like that in the movie. Literally double science talk. Why are all these hosts showing this hyperacute rejection? Metabolic abnormalities that are making it hard for your body to maintain homeostasis. Are you seeing this? He's achieved symbiosis. Systems, renal, endocrine, they're behaving We're learning the probe and running diagnostics. Even fully automated, you can't pilot that craft all alone. Directing the boredom is the not-so-secretly evil Carlton Drake. That's so secretly evil. wants to destroy humanity in yeah, order to pretty save it. He's brought the planet to the brink of extinction. There's nothing wrong with a villain who's film just film evil for the sake of me. Infinity Wars, Mission Impossible Fallouts, and The Predator. And that's just in 2018. Thrill as Drake assumes his final form, Raisin Venom. Then try to cheer on the hero as the action concludes with two syrupy blotches wrestling each other like a Winamp visualizer with teeth. It really whips the llama's ass. But Venom's not just an action movie, it's also a love story. As Eddie is torn between his love of Michelle Williams' terrible wig. Hey, I'm sorry about Venom. Oh my god, it was not that bad. Who's ready to I'm getting so tired of people talking about that weed. damn wig. Ah, oh, Venom. And no, it's not weird that I shipped Simbrock. The movie made a quarter billion in China, and this is how they advertised it. Look, ever since Tumblr changed, this is all I got left. Let me have this one. No. Ooh, epic voice like <laughs> So enjoy a comic book film that isn't bogged down by 20 other episodes like the MCU uh, uh, or the grandiose pretensions of the DC oh. universe. This is amazing. Because sometimes it's fun to watch a movie that's just a movie. Even though it did so well, Sony will probably use it to kickstart an entire cinematic universe. Hard pass, Sony. Hard pass.
unless you get flubber. Well, they already, they already said they're making another one. So. Story. Sad Max. Inky and the Veins. Oh my Dan God. from Veep and Dan from Venom. Man Taster by the Sea. Felon Musk. <laughs> Everyone gives <laughs> the Rialto Theater. The Rialto Theater. Uh, and that's that's the Rialto Theater as well. The Rialto Theater again. What theater is that? Oh, it's the Rialto. Oh, and I, I, I know this. Leprechaun, huh? Oh, that was so encounters of the Each turf. corner be cornage. Oh, I thought that was Rolling on the street. Like a turd. turd. In the wind. In the wind. If your turds are thin or light enough to roll in the wind, Please call your gastroenterologist. Slow Maybe a strong wind. Like baby lotion. I like to have my elbows tickled. Firefly is the opposite of waterfall. Justice for Blockbuster. Knock knock, let the devil in. Oh my god. So. I'm gonna say it right now. I liked Venom. Was it great? No, but I, I thought it was very entertaining. <laughs> does it? Does it? Did it? Did I? Did it need to be great? Not necessarily. A, a movie can just be like you, said, you can just enjoy it. Just be a movie. You no know, over analyzing everything. If you find enjoyment, I know some people do that because of their jobs or they're just where they are i do that usually around the second time i watch a movie which i've seen venom three times now or i think it was two and a half that i had to stock i had to go to, had to, go to work so i was like um i'll watch it later <laughs> but uh i'll finish watching that which i haven't which i hate do i hate what starting to watch a movie and then stop it because i gotta go do it to do something if I'm enjoying it. If I'm not, then I don't have no fucking problem cutting it up. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I had no problem with Venom. I thought Venom was actually pretty good. Um, I liked the chemistry between Tom Hardy and Venom. Uh, his voice didn't bother me. In the trailers, I was like, what the f what's I thought maybe he was playing a, like, I don't know, mentally like handicap or some like type person like I thought maybe he just had a speech impediment I don't know but when I actually looked at the movie I was like oh okay it's not as bad as it seemed maybe they were just the bad scenes but uh, I guess in my eye and, uh, it wasn't that bad and um like they I, I heard so many people I've, I've even heard people on Instagram say the movie failed because of her wig I don't know how serious they are they seem pretty serious i don't know they could have been joking but they kept talking about the wig i was like who gives a fuck about her wig it's a wig they even acknowledge that in the movie that it's a wig <laughs> like, like you, i was like oh my god stop stop talking about how bad the wig was. we get it it looked bad yes okay enough <laughs> did that have something to do with the plot did the, i mean and I will say that the fight scene at the end with them like splashing all over the place, I was just, uh, I, I kind of, it was fine, but I kind of just wish they were just solid and just fought each other, hitting each other rather than, I mean, I, it was cool with him trying to like, like you trying to tear it off of him, but like you trying to, like um, Raya was trying to tear Venom off of Eddie Brock. And I was like, that was fine, but it just, when they really started like splashing together, it looked like, looking like, like you were looking at the inside of a washing machine. It was like, I was like, uh, man, it looked very good. But overall, if, if you don't take little things and just say those little things, ruin the whole movie for me, you just look at it as a whole. I think the movie was enjoyable. It was entertaining. Was it great? No, but it was entertaining. I still need to look at Aquaman. Still haven't looked at that yet. I had to. I went to the theater to see it, 
started watching it and I had to leave because of a um, family issue. But I, I and I was kind of back. I was like, oh, I want this. I mean, it wasn't a serious family issue, but it was just something that I needed to leave the theater for. So I left. But and I didn't try to get my money back or anything like that. But I will eventually look at that. I'm, I've actually been looking forward to that. But they weren't too hard on me. I mean, they were. I mean, they they clearly had gripes with the movie, but then you know, and plus this is a comedy show. So I mean, well, web series, I guess you would say. But um, they were fine. I mean, <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> uh, I like their. I, I, I'm surprised they didn't really because people talked about the chemistry. I noticed people didn't like the chemistry between uh, Eddie Brock. And I keep forgetting that chick's name, but his girlfriend, her name Michelle, her real name. No, but anyway, I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> nice, very well done. Honest trailers again. You continue to impress. Uh, what y'all think about everybody? Did y'all like it? You know, let me know down in the comment section, and uh, I'll see y'all later. Peace.